And today in the CI Kitchen, we're making candied pecans this afternoon. Perfect for the holidays. Kayla Howie is our U of I student chef, and she also has an awesome blog, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But first, let's talk about the candied pecans. Again, tell us, refresh us on the inspiration for doing these. The inspiration, well, around the holidays, it's nice to have sort of just little appetizers you can use your hands and kind yeah. of pick and make little fun boards. So I make these in all sorts of flavors and serve them with cheese and meats. Yeah, and it's really like easy that. to make. I mean, yes. it's what, probably under 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Extremely easy. <laughs> you can make this recipe with any type of nut, any type of flavor. Um, it's really just six ounces of the nut. So I use half pecans. Mm -hmm. And then you add um, a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of sugar. Make a simple syrup out of that. And I add a little bit of salt, a quarter teaspoon, and a little cayenne pepper for some heat. Mm -hmm. A quarter teaspoon of that, too. And once the pecans are coated, I add some more sugar at the end just for a little That's sweet good. Just, touch. Yeah, and, and it's <laughs> nice because it kind of crystallizes on there. And we'll right. take, talk about the final product after we talk about your blog because this is pretty cool. TheOriginalDish.com. Yes. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, it's a website I started really just to share my recipes, but it's turned into sort of a way for me to, you know, style food and create recipes. And I'm loving the photography aspect of it, too. So... Um, you can follow it, just the website. There's also an Instagram account. It's just the original dish. And, you know, I'm on Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter and yeah, well, all and, sorts of things. And I love this. And I like the way you put it, too, about it. It's really an art because it, as good as it food is to taste, it also needs to look appetizing. Right. And that's kind of what you capture with the pictures here. And with kind of, I've been guessing with the experimentation with what you got because that you've got lots of things with different colors mm -hmm. and textures and stuff. It's really kind of a learning process for me as well, just sort of getting to make food and then kind of, experiment with how to make it look good, you know? Yeah. All right. The original dish.com will connect you a little bit later, but first, look at these. You have Two to different try. kinds. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about, you, you mentioned in the first segment um, what we made here, but refresh us for uh, yes. those just joining us. So I, what I showed you today was the candied pecans, and they have a little cayenne pepper in them mm -hmm. um, for a little heat. And then another flavor I do are, is um, a cinnamon walnut, mm. and those are right here. And I also like to do you know, cashews are great to candy, almonds, really anything. Those are really good, and the cayenne is not overwhelming. Right. For those at home saying, right. cayenne, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, but it does. It gives it a little kick, and it's nice. Yeah, just a little sweet and spicy mm. flavor. <laughs> I know, I'm supposed to keep going with this segment, but they're so good. Mm. They're very addictive. They're nice to just sort of have out and snack on. Yeah, well, and they're so easy to make, too. Right. And, that's, and that's one of the beauties of it. So you can check out Kayla's blog again, theoriginaldish.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so we much for having me. appreciate it. Hey, and if you want to check out that blog, you can do it at theoriginaldish.com, or you can go to ciliving.tv, and we'll link you there and share this recipe, too.